Commissioner of Police Paul Roll is continuing to make changes within the Royal Bahamas Police Force as he says the agency's operation, operational environment continues to shift. Cleopatra Murphy explains how that has impacted the organization as well as the commissioner's charge to officers to live up to the agency's standards. Commissioner of Police Paul Rule announced that the Flying Squad of the Royal Bahamas Police Force has been removed from the purview of the Criminal Investigations Department and placed under the newly created Operations Department, a compendium of mobile patrol operations that will also include the Rapid Response Team. This is intended to better coordinate response to criminal events or other emergencies. This enables us to conduct operations on a 24-hour basis in order to disrupt all of these criminal enterprises. And this way at the same time CID is able now to focus strictly on investigation and giving quality to their work. Parole announced during a graduation exercise Thursday for officers who participated in tactical and defensive driving training courses that the shift is intended to promote more efficiency within the law enforcement agency. The commissioner of police says he continues to be concerned about the proliferation of illegal firearms, high incidence of gun-related crimes in the country, and the continued illicit drug trade that fuels crime. For those in our communities who seek to engage in these types of nefarious behavior, I implore you to desist. Otherwise, I wish to put you on notice that we will take a zero tolerance approach and we will seek you out relentlessly. When you hear the expression predator, you know that we are looking for you. Roll says too many of the country's young men have fallen to violence, stressing that the police force's duty is to preserve law and order and prevent and detect crime. He implored the officers to live up to those responsibilities. Do your utmost to retain public trust and must perform your duties in a manner which respects individual human rights and which reflects fairness, sensitivity and compassion. Yet... You are expected to act in fine pursuit of all offenders of our laws to ensure a safe and just society. The police force chief congratulated officers on their graduation and implored them to also show professionalism as they strive to create safer communities. He also advised officers to serve the public with fairness and make the most of their recent training. I need you to always be mindful of your limitations in the use of force. We serve an ever aware and watching public that expect us to protect them and not to abuse our powers in dealing with them. Those of you on the defensive driving courses, we have trained you in the operations and the momentum of these new police interceptors. I implore you to always drive defensively. No emergency can be so great as to justify causing an accident. A total of 72 police officers graduated from the tactical training and defensive driving courses held over several weeks. Cleopatra Murphy, CNS Network News.